So this is the inside of the 79 Winnebago that I paid $400 for. That I'm uh, raising five grand to get up and running after pricing all the materials that I need to restore this. It's going to run out to just shy of five grand. Um, tires and wheels are going to be the biggest portion of that considering they don't make the tires for it anymore and the rims they don't make either so I have to replace the rims in order to replace the new tires that currently the old tires have dry rot so I knocked out a lot of structure there was a, a shelving system here built on this portion that I ripped out I'm ripping out a portion of that I left the covers behind because they're not rotted too bad there was a huge pile of garbage right here when I first uh, bought it and I had to sweep out three garbage three dumpsters full of garbage that were just piled up in the back here um, I had to use a blower to blow all the broken pieces of particle board that turned into sand dust and uh, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna completely tear that out but because it has so much integrated into it I don't know if uh, that um, that's going to be wise just because it's going to be a lot harder to put it all back in. So I'm probably just going to leave that. I'm going to take out the, the walling and the shitter and I'm going to replace it with uh, newer ones. Uh, the motor is under that cap right there. You lift that up and that's where the motor is and I don't know what's wrong with it. But uh, the table, um, I'm thinking I'm going to take the seats out in the table and rebuild that from scratch. Um, I found some cheap parts. Hey Bubba J. Found some cheap parts to do do with it. Um, now, the main use of this RV is going to be used as a news van. Uh, we're going to get it up and running. I'm going to be doing uh, cross-country journalist trips. And I'm going to start hitting Trump rallies through now all the way up to 2024. Um, there's going to be a lot of rallies in between now and then. I want to hit them all. Uh, I'm going to build a broadcasting station in the back here. And then uh, I'm going to turn this portion into a sleeper. And have my radio equipment right here um, right here I'm probably gonna stick some computer equipment and then I'm gonna leave the sink and stuff completely untouched I have to go in and rewire all this which I don't mind doing the work myself because you get some pride out of it when you're done um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with uh, the front seat because I don't even know where to find it as you can see it's missing a seat and uh, it's got one seat already, but if it's just me, I don't see a passenger being necessary. And if they do, they can sit in the bench area. Uh, the guy I bought the RV from just let this thing go for a very long time. So I'm probably going to cut all this out and redo it from scratch. Just because, look at the wood. It's flimsy. And uh, the pipes aren't hooked up anymore. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to kill it all and I'm going to utilize the space for another one. But uh, this is pretty much what I got my hands in. Now, getting it done is a lot of work, and I'll do it myself. I don't mind doing that. Uh, but it's going to cost around five grand just to get this thing up and running. Um, and I took the power inverter out that was in that little hole right there. And uh, it was so old and so rusty, I didn't even know Winnebago's this old had a power inverter. And uh, either way, I got to replace it. But I can replace it with a lot newer one. On top of the Winnebago, I'm going to be putting uh, solar panels up on top. That will feed down into the power inverter, but the power inverter will also I have a switch that I can control it by. Um, I can control the power inverter, make the power go from a power inverter, solar panels, or a wire that I'm going to have uh, hooked up in the cubby down on the bottom, and uh, I can plug it into a power source, and then it'll it'll have the option of running through all that, and. Uh, it's going to be quite quite a repair but uh yeah i'm raising five grand to get this thing up and running so i can start driving it and going across country and i want to start hitting trump rallies trump's going to have a good good next four years to promote himself to get back into the things and uh just in case some of you don't know i run the megalo news network as well as the megalo social platform i built all that myself no it's not generating revenue and I, honestly i never built it to generate revenue I built it so people would have a free speech environment to, you know, to be on. And I'm gonna, I can do all my work on the internet remotely. So being on the road, going to Trump rallies, and bringing my computer with me—that's all I need. 
Everything else is done all remote. And nowadays, you got internet access points hanging off of telephone poles. So, you know, the reason I chose something so old is one, it was 400 bucks. <laughs> that was the biggest one, obviously. And two, it uh, doesn't susceptible to EMP. If you all know what EMP is, it's electromagnet electromagnetic pulse. When a nuclear bomb goes off, it generates EMP. When lightning strikes, it generates EMP. EMP is capable of frying computer systems. Well, this RV don't have no computers in it, man. It's still got a generator. It's so old, it doesn't even have a catalytic converter in it. But when I'm done with this piece, it'll look a lot better than it does now. Take me about a month of work, but I'll get her done. Anyway, thanks for watching.